here are the five most in-demand virtual assistant services for 2023. If you're an aspiring virtual assistant or already a virtual assistant, you're going to want to know what the most in-demand services are going to be for 2023 so that you can get marketing them or even retrain if that's what you need to do. But firstly, who am I to even give this advice? I'm Catherine Gladwin and I've been a virtual assistant since late 2015 and I've been helping women just like you quit their nine to five and become virtual assistants successfully since 2018. Okay, so number five on the list is accountability support. January in the small business world hits completely differently. It's the start of a new year and just like normal people, we reset our resolutions, we reset our goals and it's the time where we get going with everything. It's a bit like joining the gym. You start off with great intentions, then it gets a bit overwhelming and you can't bother anymore. So business owners need somebody to help them to reach their goals. During December, we often reflect on what went well, what didn't go so well, and we think about what we want to achieve in the year that's coming up. So with accountability support, there's so much that you can do as a virtual assistant to assist a small business owner to reach their goals. Things include finding subcontractors, chasing subcontractors, project management, so that can include making sure that all elements of a goal are done, setting time aside in the client's diary so that they've got time to work on their goals, chasing the client to get things done, doing stuff that they don't need to be doing. So maybe their goal is to monitor their own income and outgoing so that you know exactly where they are. Perhaps they didn't make enough money in 2022 because they didn't keep an eye on things. So you can keep an eye on their income and outgoings and say, do you know what? You're spending money on this every month. I know that you can get it cheaper here. And probably one of the most important things and something that business owners will kick back on sometimes, but the more you push them, the more they're like, yeah, this is gonna work for me, is gatekeeping. Now gatekeeping means stopping people get into the client. So it could be somebody that, you, we've all had those clients where, can I have a quick phone call? And you know it's never quick, but it could be dealt with quicker in an email. So this comes under email and diary management as well, but accountability support is allowing your client to have more time to get to their goals. So you wanna kind of gatekeep anybody that wants their time unnecessarily. Almost everything can be dealt with in an email, can't it? Number four is social media support. No, I don't say management, it's support because so much can come under social media support. And as a business owner gets busier and they're busy because they're focusing on their goals, it's a new year, things get left. And that's usually marketing, especially if they're at capacity with their work. Sometimes they feel that they don't need to continue marketing because they've got enough clients. Whereas that's one of the biggest mistakes that business owners can make. You have to keep marketing so that if you ever lose a client or if you want to expand your business, people already know about you. If you've been working to become a virtual assistant, you'll know that it can take a good few months of marketing before anybody starts to notice you. So if you stop that marketing and restart it again, those few months reset. So that's why it has to be continuous. And you can help your client with that with their social media support. You could perhaps be writing content for them, or you could be scheduling their content, or you could be replying to comments on their content so that their engagement keeps up. Or you could just be helping them with their DMs. I get a lot of DMs on LinkedIn and sometimes it's just like, hi, it's great to connect. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, but I do deal with them myself, but it would probably be a good idea for me to outsource those as well. And I'm just like other business owners. So social media support is something that you might enjoy, but it's certainly something that other business owners would benefit from having your help with. Number three on the list is community management. Now this is getting bigger as years go by and it's something that's really popular with coaches and mentors especially. Community management is where you help a client with their community. So a lot of coaches and mentors run groups of people. It enables them to work with multiple people at once as opposed to just one-to-one -one. because working one-to-one -one with somebody as a coach or a mentor is incredibly draining on your time but also limits it's how much you can earn. So you would have seen more and more coaches and mentors running perhaps Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups. I run a group mentoring on Telegram so that I can reach more aspiring virtual assistants in one go and help them on their journey. You can find out about my group mentoring if you go to katherinegladwin.co.uk slash Telegram. Do that at the end of the video though. 
So what does community management involve? Okay, so let's imagine that a coach or a mentor has got a very busy Facebook group of members. They can't be in there all the time. It's just impossible. And you often get frequently asked questions as well. So you would be in that Facebook group as a community manager. You'd be responding to frequently asked questions. You'd be welcoming new members. You'd be scheduling content. You'd be guiding members to perhaps an external resource. So a lot of people that run these groups have Kajabi, which is a, you can have a look what that software is. Um, and they hold resources on Kajabi. So you could direct members to that resource so that not everybody's having to be answered by the coach or the mentor because their time is really valuable. Another thing that's really important with community management is you could assist with lives. So like I said, my group mentoring, I have somebody help me as a community manager. She's absolutely brilliant. Again, what she does is she answers frequently asked questions. She drops links in there if somebody's asking about something. She refers people to my YouTube videos. In fact, she's referred people to one YouTube video and I was like, I don't even remember doing that. So she's, she's a second pair of ear, ears and eyes for me. It is really invaluable and something that even if a coach or mentor hasn't yet got a community manager or heard of it, they need to be told about it because you will save them so much time and stress by doing that. As a community manager, you need to have great initiative and be proactive because you need to be taking the work off of somebody, not piling it on with lots of questions. So if you're both of those things, you're going to be brilliant at it. Number two is Canva design. If you've not yet found Canva, again, go and have a look after this video and allocate perhaps six days because you'll be lost and addicted in no time. If you're creative and you enjoy making things, then you are gonna love Canva design. A lot of clients want to have an image or a picture or a reel or something like that attached to their content, whether it be on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, because images do pull people in much easier than just written text. If potential clients are anything like me, so I can sometimes create a brilliant Canva image, or I think it's brilliant, but it's usually taken me a few days, believe it or not, to do it because I, I'm picky with my own stuff. Because I've now got somebody that helps me create my Canva images, it's given me so much time back. Otherwise, I sit there on Canva for hours and then I'm not happy with it. And then, then I just go to my assistant to do it anyway. So I'm, I'm losing so much time, so much money and just being a dickhead, basically. If I had somebody a lot sooner to help me with Canva design, God knows how much I could have been. I've been eight figure business owner by now, I reckon. So like I said, graphics and images help draw people in. So that's why your client's gonna benefit from having you do those. Now it won't just be for use on social media. Your images and graphics could also be used on their website or maybe on flyers if they've got flyers or even on presentations. A lot of people do presentations on webinars. So it would be great for you to do that as well. What I've done in the past is I've written my presentations on A4 paper and then sent photographs to my assistant for her to put it into a presentation. It just takes so much stress because I'm still one of those pen and paper people. So if you enjoy Canva, then offer that as a service because that is going to continue to be big throughout 2023. Okay, the number one service for 2023, you may or may not be surprised to know, is email and diary management. Email and diary management is one of the first services that busy business owners outsource. You've all got that friend, or maybe it's even you, you look at their phone, 2,465 emails unread. What the hell? People need help with emails, especially if they're busy, because if they're constantly looking at their emails, they can't get on with what they're doing. I think it's about 23 minutes that it takes to get back into a task if you've been disturbed. So I'm terrible for it. I will always have my email tab open. And if I see the number go up, like you have two emails, I'll be straight in there to see what it is. Nothing's ever urgent, but I can't help myself. So I have to close the tab. But I also now have somebody help me with my emails and it takes so much pressure away from me. It's unbelievable how much time us business owners can waste by doing things that somebody else could do just as easily as us and take that pressure away. So if you don't yet know email and diary management, or perhaps you did it in a previous life and you just want to know how to do it in the virtual world, then go and take a look at my email and diary management course. It's at katherinegladwin.co.uk slash email. 
It's only £29 and the number of people that have bought it and almost instantly gone on and sold like an inbox detox or they've taken on a retainer client for email and diary management, it is thoroughly enjoyable. To be really good at email and diary management, you just need to be proactive and confident in what you're doing. And my course gives you that confidence. It's also got enough information in there to enable you to get access to your client's accounts so that you can just do everything with ease and take away all the pressure from your potential client or your client as quickly as possible. I'm even going to go as far as to say offering email and diary management is life changing for your clients. Even if your clients come to you for something else, so for example, if they come to you for community management, you can then upsell email and diary management to them because once they see how good you are and how proactive you are, they're gonna want that extra help. The more us business owners outsource, the more we scramble around looking for other things that we can give to somebody else as well. So they are my five top predictions for the most in-demand virtual assistant services for 2023. If you'd like to take a look at my email and diary management course, then again, head to my shop, katherinegladwin.co.uk slash email, and it's only £29. Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notified next time I release a video. Take care.